What is good YouTube? It's Deaker Jones here and today I wanted to bring you a brief video outlining a couple tips and tricks that might help you in your Fallout 4 experience. Now as I'm sure most of you guys are aware, if you are looking for a particular type of raw material out in the wasteland that you can use a crafting bench here and go to the item that you can't create, like I can't create this bottle cap mine and it gives you the option to tag for search down there and that puts a little magnifying glass icon next to it and anytime you come across that particular item out in the wasteland or any materials that contain that item they will show up now I've played this game in excess of a hundred hours easily at this point and I always thought that was the only way you could tag an item for search and what sucks about that is if you have some of those materials but you still want to look for them you know you either have to throw them on the ground so that you could don't currently have any in order to tag them for search but I actually discovered that if you go to the junk menu in your inventory you'll notice down at the bottom there it says L1 for component view so if you go ahead and press L1 or left bumper on the Xbox One, it'll actually bring up a breakdown of all the material that you have in your inventory. So you see here I've got this alarm clock and this Abraxo and you can see the breakdown of its components underneath it. But when you go to that component view and it breaks it down by the actual material, well I could go right here, press R1, and now I have nuclear material tag for search and I have nuclear material both on my person and in my workstation. So this is a helpful little way to, to actually tag specific items that you're really after without having to do anything like throw them on the ground or whatever. So that's that. Just a little extra tip to, to help you guys make it easier to do some searching. And the other thing that I wanted to demonstrate to you guys here is a helpful little tip for knowing when enemies are around. Now for those of you that may not know, you'll see up there that I'm currently in the hidden state. And the further your brackets are away from that word indicates basically how hidden you are. Now I have the silent running level of sneak which I believe is sneak level three so I don't really make any noise whenever I move however when you loot things you do make noise so this is a good way whenever you're inside a, a dungeon and you're kind of wondering hey are there still any enemies around whenever you loot something you'll notice that briefly my little uh, parenthesis brackets there closed in and that indicates to me that somebody heard me pick that particular item up. So that's a good way for you to know you're running around looting stuff and you're like, huh, I wonder if anybody's still here. Well, that's one way that you can tell. Now, it doesn't differentiate between levels or distance to you. I mean, if they're within earshot of that action, they'll hear it. They could be above you. They could be below you. They could be three, four rooms away. And it also doesn't indicate necessarily that what is hearing you is hostile. Uh, Brahmin will hear it. Uh, anything that's that's non-hostile, your allies, um, your follower doesn't do that. You know, so you don't have to worry about them being nearby. But here you can see if I pick this up, very briefly, my hidden tag closes in a little bit. And that's letting me know, hey, somebody hears you rummaging around in the building so that's just one way to know hey there might still be some enemies about particularly useful if you're in an area where you just know that hey this is a raider camp there's that's the only thing that's around is raiders and so you know that there's still enemies around Anyway, those are the two tips that I had for you. I hope you found this useful. I've been Deeker Jones, and I hope you guys have a very nice day.